everyone, it is April. Thanks for joining me again today. Today I was going to show you something that I have been using a lot lately, and yes, it is the Instapot. It has made my life a whole lot easier. Before I'd always forget to put the chicken or something in the slow cooker, and that would take forever, and then I'd come home. My husband said, what's for dinner? Well, I forgot to take the meat out and put it in the slow cooker. So I talked him into getting me this Instapot, and it has been a really awesome investment. I'm glad we did it. It makes my life easier, and then they get to eat, which makes them happy. But today we're gonna go ahead and do frozen chicken, which is gonna be done in probably about less than an hour, because I'm gonna do a natural release. I have six pieces of chicken breast in here. It's probably about, I think, two to three pounds, and it's really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and put some onion in, just for that extra flavor. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I just love have the onion and the garlic as well. And right here, I also have the water. In your Instapot, you always need some kind of moisture because it is a pressure cooker that I'm going to be using on pressure cook today. And I have two cups of the water, so I'm gonna do, if I can get the teaspoon, two teaspoons into that to make my broth. And yes, you can get chicken stock or whatever, or chicken broth already made but I use this stuff because I have it on hand. And I just mix that in. And I just throw the onions right in there. I do a little bit of pepper. And just a tiny bit of salt. I don't want to get too much. Then I'm also going to do today some garlic. Just add a little extra flavor. And this chicken is really versatile. My husband loves shredded chicken just by itself. He'll sit there and just keep eating it. But I also love to do a lot of different things with it. You can of course just do simple stuff like salads or sandwiches. But I a lot of times do tacos or chicken enchiladas out of the leftovers if you have them too, and a lot of just fun things you can do with them. So I usually do extra like I am today, and then I just refrigerate it and then use it in the next couple days. Okay, and then when you have that all in there, I just pour it over the chicken. I really love how easy these recipes are. All right, now we are ready to go ahead and we're gonna put this to pressure cook. And I set it already to 18 minutes. If you need to, you can just go up down like that. But with this amount of chicken and it being frozen, I'm gonna do 18 minutes on the pressure cook. And so it's going to start and it will take a while because it's frozen, it's gonna flash on. And you also wanna double check that this back here is put to sealing, not venting. You want all that pressure to build up. It will take a while because the chicken's frozen, like I said. So it'll probably be about an hour of total cook time. And I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay guys, I am back and I actually decided to do a 10 minute natural release instead of the full natural release. And what that means is you wait till your pressure cooker goes off and then it goes to low and then it says 10 minutes. And you can decide to do an instant release. And what you do is you just push that to the vent. All that will come up. It'll make a lot of noise and scare you. Just want to make sure that you don't have your hand in the way when that happens. And you let all that steam release. And if you chose to do a natural release, that just means that you're going to let it go all the way. And it will just release that pressure on its own. You want to make sure it hit cancel because there's several times I forget and it just keeps going and going and I wonder what on earth is going on. And it's just because I was having a bond moment. <laughs> okay, as you can see, it does take a couple minutes for all that pressure to release and you don't want to get burned. I didn't want to rush it, so just let it all release. Also, I wanted to mention that although I put 18 minutes on here because it was frozen and it took a while for it to get up to pressure, it was about an hour from when I put it in. I put it in at 3.30 and it's now 4.30. So you do want to kind of take that into consideration when you're making something. We're just going to go ahead and open this up. And there 
it is still bubbling. And this just falls apart so easily. This is actually the best, my husband says it's the best chicken that he has ever had. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> but it actually is a, the Instapot. It just makes it really nice and tender. And there's lots and lots of things you can do with this. My husband just likes to come and eat it. I'm gonna do it for meals throughout the week and he just comes and munches on it to where I barely have any <laughs> left for the rest of the week. But I usually will, if there is any left, I just put it in the fridge or freezer and then I'll make it into meals. That, are, that way it's a lot easier when you come home from work and you don't have time. Then if you want, if you're just eating it as is, you can ladle a little bit of the broth or you can just eat it as is. I'll be back later with some videos of what you can turn this into if you want something else. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.